imagination. Why didn't you call to inform me that you'll be here? Hello. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? Weren't you the person who asked Jenny to invite me over for lunch? Afternoon, Auntie Nancy. I'm glad you could make it. Yes, baby, I bought you a chocolate. You can have that. Thanks. Come right in. Go to show yourself. What did you do? What did you invite Auntie Nancy into the house when you knew that Cindy would be coming back home? You'd be coming to the house. Because Auntie Cindy didn't sound convinced that she was going to make it and because she was sick. Because she was sick? Now who told you? Who told you, baby? Auntie Cindy has given us her word and she'll be here in no time. And I told you that. Is everything all right over there? Okay. Yes, Auntie. We'll be with you in a second. Dad, Auntie Nancy likes you, but I don't like the way you're treating her. You always teach me how to be nice to people. Yeah, and I also taught you how to select your friends, didn't I? I taught you that. And she is someone I've cancelled as my friend. I don't like her at all. I don't like her. Yeah, I don't like Miss Cindy, but you always force me to be nice to her. Maybe me? When did I do that? You don't like me, Cindy. Now listen, tell me one thing, baby. One thing, not two things. One thing you don't like about Miss Cindy. I'm listening. I'm all ears. You see? You can see anything, right? Now, very well then. Let me tell you. One thousand and one thing I don't like about Nancy. She is arrogant. She is She's disrespectful to daddy. She is bussy. She is annoying at the same time. She, she just breaks me in bits and pieces. I don't Dad, our guest is waiting. And we don't want to be aggressive as we. You know, it's so good. I enjoyed that first outing like hell. <laughs> Your dad is such a fun person to be with, baby. <laughs> Why are you checking your phone, Jay? No. Yes. No? No, actually, we just we are just checking when the food will be ready. Oh, oh. the food. Who is making the food? Mrs. Cynthia. Oh wow, Mrs. Cynthia. Ah, so she's still alive. She would have been dead a long time ago. You would have just called me up to do the cooking for us. Thanks, but Mrs. Sinta can handle it. Oh, no problem. Uh, because she would have just... Uh, she must have lost her taste since she's old. I'll get it. No, no don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Did I hurt you? No. Did I? No. Baby. I, I, I hope I'm not just like you know. I woke up this morning, mm -hmm. I had to go do some groceries, mm -hmm. clean up my room, check my clothes to the cleaners. Mm -hmm. I know. Hey, what's that? <laughs> just to show you how much I really love you. From the depth of my heart, so deep down there. That's where your love sits. And it's so heavy. <laughs> Very heavy. <laughs> But you've got to be strong, you know. Just... Oh, how stupid! I knew this girl who is always after my man was going to come here. But you should have waited until I've gone. 
Your sight irritates me, you know. Hi, Jenny. Anyway, thanks for the compliment. Jenny, thanks so much for inviting me for lunch today. I'm sure it's going to be a great one. Thanks, Miss Cindy, for making it. Baby, did you actually invite her over also? She's equally my dad's friend. Your dad's friend? Or your dad's partner at the office? I thought partners end up only in the office and not at home. What's this, Nancy? What are you saying? What do you want to create? What's this? It's just a mere lunch. A mere lunch? Oh, hell no. We have here, it is not going to be a favorable one. Okay. Janie, um, when is this lunch going to be ready? I'm starving. He's already ready. This way. <laughs> Let's see, guys. Um, maybe you watch it. No one. Oh my God, it's beautiful. There you go, darling. Hey. There you go. Awesome. Oh, great. Uh -huh. And here I go. Don't, maybe don't worry, I'm coming yes. over. Daddy's coming over to serve you. We need to create. Oh, darling, hold on a bit. Please. Hold on. Okay, baby. Why did I do that to you? I'm sorry about that. Huh? My bad. Thank My you. bad. Oh, great. Okay, baby. That's going to serve you. Why did you scream? <laughs> I do that. You crushed it, you know. You invited everybody to come over. So, uh, it's a oh, great one. Hold it. Can we pray, please? In Jesus' name. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us food. And thank you for giving me, Jay, to take care of me and his lovely daughter. Also, thank you for bringing Cindy into this picture. You've actually showed me that how Jay could be loving Dear Lord, thank you for also teaching me never to give up on what is mine and always to fight for what is right. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name. Eat, baby. There you go. <laughs> Let's eat. Let's eat. Oh, great. Great. There you go, baby. Wow, that's beautiful. Nice spot. Food was superb. Thanks. So, Jay, when are you coming over to my house? Let me be your host this time. At least you can come with Jenny. Please, I'll think about that. What are you thinking about? You know how good my food tastes. So, please. Can we play a game, please, please, please? What game? I'm not into all those childish stuffs. Okay, I give up. Nothing to do. I wish my mom were here. At least. She could have entertained us better. Hey, baby. 
your mother is never going to come back again, okay? All you need now to do is pray for your daddy and I to get married and take very good care of you. She could go be dead for all you know. How dare you say that to my daughter? What's wrong with you, Nancy? No, don't hush me, please. Someone needs to tell her the truth. She needs to wake up from her slumber, okay? Back to reality. I should have married you a long time ago. Now that I have a competitor, a schema and a slot for that matter. Nancy, what are, who are you... What's that? What's that for? That's in bad taste. Who? You, girl. Dumb head. Are you trying to play dumb with me? Now listen, Nancy. Listen to me, babe. If you don't respect yourself, I'll be forced to send you out of my house right now Jay, at this minute. Jay, no need to worry your head. Hi, Jane. Thanks so much for the lunch. I really appreciate it, okay? I'll see you guys later. Later, Jay. Baby, come. Do this. Don't just go because of this, baby. Baby, excuse me, baby, please, please. Baby, honey, don't go because of this. Jay, I, I am always around here, you know that. I just need to go home and clear my head. You can come around later. Honey, hold on. I love you. You know, I love you so much. Don't allow that. That thing cost me. Anything in between us, please. So cherish what we share together. I love you, honey. Please, come in. Please, don't be a beggar with you. Please. Where's my daughter? She ran out immediately. And you, what are you doing here? Waiting for you, Jay. We need to talk. Talk about what? About us. You see, Jay, this is the first time in the last five months that we're really seeing together. At least one on one. So I think we need to talk. Let's know the way forward. Okay. I'm all ears. I'm listening. Yeah, Jay. I want to really know what's happening between you and I and then you and Cindy. Because if it's for the last guy you caught me with, I think you've gotten the revenge of all that. Listen to yourself talk. Just listen to you talk. Do you know, I used to think you're more enlightened than this. But just this minute, I've realized that you're numbskull, stupid and useless. You act less than Jenny's mate. Don't insult me. I've long rejected list of guys because I thought we had something together. Something together. I, Jay, Nancy, have something together. What makes you think we have anything to do together? What makes you think we've got a future together? And what makes you think that I hear, Jay, will have anything to do with your fall for you. I never thought of that. And even if I had thought of that before, you know what? What has happened? I think I will change my mind. And I've just changed my mind so, right now in this minute. So, for the record, get out of my house. Get out of my house right now! Oh, hold on, Jay. It hasn't gotten to all that, okay? Since you've decided to be a dumb ass like you've always been, I'm going to get myself another man like yesterday. Dumb ass. Sorry. I'm the one to be sorry. I thought this lunch would go well. I meant no harm. Oh, it's okay. It's all right. I understand that you actually meant no harm. I hurt me Cindy badly. First, I told her bad words and brought her for lunch to mock her. Oh, look. 
It's all right, Dad. Um, Auntie Cindy would understand. She would understand quite okay that you've, you've, you've meant no harm and you've got good intentions for that. Daddy, I think you should get married, like Auntie Nancy said. Fall in love and get married. Mommy might never come back. She might be dead. Look at what you've turned me to. All because of your selfish desire. Do you know what? You guys have made me hopeless, useless, right in front of my daughter. Because she believes her mom will one day come back for her. I was your only sister. Why did you hate me so much? Why? Just tell me why! And oh God, how I wish you were so much alive! Because I had a lot of things to tell her. I just wanted to spot her wickedness right in front of her. Because you want this to be mother's favorite. Oh, 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 God. God, the best you've put me through. Oh, I wish you could just pay for all the wickedness you've done to me. You don't have the explanation for everything I did to you, Deborah. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Make all the necessary operations. Okay. Sir. I need to have my table first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, sir. Huh? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, sir, excuse me. Do you have a minute or two? I, I have something to discuss with you. Something that has to do with my heart. What? Please, sir. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, sir, it's about Cindy. Cindy. I think she's the woman I want to get married to. But I'm scared. Scared? About Cindy, why? I'm scared, sir, because I've barely known her for six months now. And I don't think six months is enough for me to fall in love, um, let alone marriage. A day is enough, let alone six months. You can go ahead and do what you want to do. Yes, sir. It's about, it's about her past. I know, but I don't know so much about her past. And I don't want a situation whereby I'll get into it at the end of the day, uh, something sprouts out of it that it's negative. You don't have to live in your past or other people's past life either. Um, all you need to do is future and what the future has in store for both of you. Okay, now tell me, what do you love most about her? Sir, I'm, I'm more comfortable letting living journey around her. Very, it's the, that fluid relationship they have, unlike um, Nancy. Okay, I assume that's exactly what you're looking for in a woman. Hmm? Yes, sure. It's, it's this journey's um, happiness that comes first before any other thing. Okay. <laughs> then marry Cindy. You just forget about her past. Don't be scared. Eh? Keep looking forward. Forward ever and backward never. 
Huh? I have um, always had good feeling about this girl. Right from the first day she set her foot this place. As a married man and father, I can beat my chest to it and tell you that she is exactly the one you're looking for. You know you are like a son to me. Yes, sir. I can't mislead you. <laughs> it's all right, sir. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Thank you. Anytime, yeah? Okay. So I'll, I'll, I'll do it and you get it. I'll get it to your table. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes. My sister, mm -hmm. he's very handsome, mm -hmm. he's caring, mm -hmm. in fact, he's even helping me pay for the rent of my shop. Ah, Chine, you never change, yo. Oh. I know, big sister, I've changed now, I'm still under this whole trick, so this guy is a very young and promising guy, you know? We intend to get married very soon. Chine. Yeah? I know what you can do. Trust me. For what is worth, you've actually been very wise when it comes to your choice of men. Okay, big sis, make me feel good. <laughs> Still on the issue of men, I yeah. Jay wants to propose to me. Are you serious? Yeah. How did you know? Well, I was on my way to his office and I overheard him and my CEO discussing about me. Oh my god. I'm so happy for you. Everything is finally falling into place just like I hoped. Yeah, but You're I what? mean, it's getting complicated. How? It's getting scary. It's not what you think. I feel it's time for me to blow my cover. Are you alright? Don't you want your happiness anymore? I thought all you wanted was for them to fall in love with you again. Yeah. Just what? You don't understand. You know, there's nothing hidden under the sun. I'm sure one day he's going to see both of us and he would definitely know that I am Chidera and he would despise me forever. Yeah. That's true. I understand. But you better tell him before he proposes, please. I can't be that mean. I will definitely do before he proposes. Better. Better. You know, I can't believe after all these years, Jay has not found any woman to marry. Huh? You just showed up and you guys are in love again and he's about getting married to you. Like they say, destiny can never be changed. It can only be delayed. Yeah, I guess that's my name. Yeah, what God has written. No one can change. Yes, so. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, brother, how are you? <laughs> I know. Where have you been? Longest time. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. I know. <laughs> so, um, what happened? What is it? Jay. Is Jenny okay? Oh. My my cousin John just told me that uh Richard is killed. this morning. Gee, I'm sorry. Even though I hadn't spoken to him for years. But I I just felt this great part of me just left. Just tell me anything I can do to help you. Just say it. Jesus. Just hold me. Just, just hold me.
Mom. Dad. I'm very sorry. Jay, my son. It's been 10 years late. I mean, I'm, I'm very sorry for Richard. Nothing else. Um, Jenny? That's my uh, mother and this is my father. Your grandparents. Quite a beautiful girl. Yes, she is. I look like my daddy. I know. I can see that. Like I said, um, I'm very sorry for Richard. Truly, I am. Ma, I've got lots of teddies. I've named two Grandma and Grandpa. Would you like to come and see it someday? Jenny? Dad, I just wanted them to know. Because if they decide to become Grandma and Grandpa for real, I will rename the teddies, that's all. Okay, darling. Thank you. I will come see your teddies. Is that okay for you? Why not? You think your daddy would mind? That would be, I think that would be the happiest day of his life. Okay, daddy. I'll come see them, okay? Okay. Thank you, Leslie. I hope you don't mind my being here so late. You know, I I just thought of in case you all, in case Jamie could, you guys could use my company. I I just hope you know the truth. I just wanted to be here. So oh, that's great. This that's awesome. You know, I'm, I'm excited. You. You thought and you hoped and you wished and all that. The bottom line is you're here and I'm, I'm, I'm proud about that. I'm glad you are. Because I, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to you. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's just... Whatever it is you're doing, it works for me. That's, that's the primary thing. I appreciate that. Are you alright? Was it hard? Was it hard? Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm better now. I'm better. I know it might sound strange to you, but I'm good. Okay. It doesn't. You know what I mean. Don't you make me make something better for you? I mean, let me give back to you. I have a better idea than the restaurant. Okay. Just lie in the couch while I prepare dinner. Oh, if you're fine with it, I'm good. 
Uh, but first of all, I have to go um, lay down uh, Jenny in our room, make her lie properly, and maybe change and come back. Okay, baby. Huh? I'll call you when dinner is ready. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Apologizing for something I don't know. Go on. All right, I. Okay. Okay. Who is that? Okay, I'm at the door. Akpan, what is it? 
Oga, somebody will do for you. She said an emergency. Consigned him. Chamo. It's eight o'clock. We've got to go get it. Yes. I remember where we were. Mother, Jay. Your cousin John gave me your address. I thought I could come see you. This. Thank you, my daughter. You're right. This is very important. As it is, I've waited long enough. Please. It's not my problem. It's not my business. Your, the time, the duration. It, I don't know. It's still not my business, mother. Your brother wanted to talk to you. He always wanted to talk to you. He I did it, mother. He did it. He did. Believe me, he did. He was always talking about you. I, I, I don't know, especially recently, as if he knew he was going to die. He really, really talked. He wanted to talk to you. God, I can't possibly justify our actions. But all the same, I know I failed. I feel as a mother and as a woman. Believe me, please. Hmm? Mother, excuse me. Wait here right now and tell me this. Jay, you have to go and talk to her. I'm not as important as she is. You are very important to me. As she is. No, Jay, but you have to just... No, but. How am I sure what she's here for? She probably might be passing through a phase because she lost to Richard. And you are not a passing face to me. Jay, just do this first. We can talk later. Just tell me. Tell me! She just don't get it. It is not the right time. Just don't be in the hush. I've been wanting to tell you this all my life, but this is just not the right time. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to her. Why are you here? Why? I came to check if everything was okay. No, you're just here to appease your curiosity. Do you blame me? Daddy! Hey, come over here, come over here. Sorry, sorry. Um, James. Grandma, I knew you come. My baby, who wouldn't? Hmm? Who don't want to come and see the most beautiful creature on earth? Thanks, Grandma. So, what are you here for? You see, after the burial, I couldn't think straight again. And I saw you talking with your cousin, John. I asked him if you gave him his, your address. He said you did. So, I asked him to give it to me. So that's why I'm here. I would have done this a long time, but I didn't. I didn't ha have the, the, you know, the correct explanations to give. I'm here. That is not good enough. Daddy. <sighs> Mother, what are you? Doing? A beautiful girl. You can see why I'm going to be protecting. She's really an angel. Oh, can you? Can you now? But you know your father, he's such a proud man. He's a man of his words. So, you have to forgive us, okay? Please. Jenny, can we just go play a game? No, I want to stay here.
And to Cindy, do you think Dad will forgive Grandpa and Grandma? Yes, Jeannie. He will. Because they are his biological parents. He can't stay angry with them forever. Listen. God give us a chance with friends and not with family. Thanks, Auntie. Hello, guys. Hey. Great. Hi, baby. Would you like to spend this evening with Grandma? Really? Yeah. Would you be fine with it? Yep, yeah, sure. Go and pack up your clothes because Grandma is waiting for you by the car. Great. Hey. You okay? Without this entire makeup, would you see? Oh, 
soon as I could. What are you doing? Are you packing? Yeah. Leave me alone. I'm going and I'm never going to return to this place again. You told him, right? Yeah. I did and he threw me out. And you want to run away again? Look, sis, you, you hurt this guy. Yourself and your daughter. You don't expect them to just to just welcome you back like that. Dara, you made a terrible mistake the first time and this is your opportunity to correct that. You can't keep running away from your problems. Come on, sis, everything is gonna be fine, okay? For how long can you keep running? Oh, Dara. Everything will be fine, okay? You can't keep running away. Okay. <laughs> Come on, it's okay, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, oh baby, yeah. thank you. Wow. Oh, yeah. Hello, Jay. Hey, how you doing, Jay? Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hello. Such an angel. Quite a wonderful girl. Oh my god. And we've been so ignorant. Jay, I wish you could. I wish you could believe me when I said that we've been quite ignorant. It's okay, Mom. You don't you don't have to apologize. It's fine, I understand how you feel. Do you? I doubt it. I doubt if you understand how we regret some of the actions that we took. What I don't doubt is the gift. Unless you'll be against it. Okay. Let's go. Go on and pack up. Thanks, I love you. Thank you, darling. I think we need to see more of her. Yeah. I wish you could help us. I wish you could let us help you train her. What about her mother? Her mother? Well, she's been gone for years. What about if she's not gone? You mean you people have been in contact? Does it matter? What are you up against? Eh? I thought I've already admitted that we were wrong, including the way I treated her. <sighs> that includes the way you treated her. So will she be welcome the way I and Jen will be welcomed? Is there something that you're not telling us? Listen, mother. <laughs> Father. I've practically lived my life just by myself. And only me and me alone. And frankly speaking, much of the things I've done is none of your business. I mean, all I'm just saying in essence is Jenna's well-being is my primary reason of staying alive. So I want her to call the shots and that will be fine by me. Okay. I I understand, honey. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. wait. It's okay. It's okay. All I'm saying here is I want that girl, my my daughter, my only gift from God to to take her decision and I will respect that and allow her call the shirt at this point. I don't want to interfere in whatever she takes and whatever she says, it's fine by me. That's fair. I think that's fair. This is a whole new experience for her and 
I can see she's very happy. And with the prospect of living with you guys, I think she'll be really, really enthused about it. But yet, I still want to stand on what I said. My daughter has to really take her decision on whatever she says. I'm fine with it. Like I said, Jay, that is fair. Jesus Christ, he's here. Like, honey, relax, okay? You're gonna give yourself a stroke before you have the chance to talk to him. That might even be better. Then he'll feel sorry for me. I mean, I think I should just stop breathing. Maybe he'll give me mouth to mouth. You can't get mad at a person whose life you just saved, can you? That is not possible. You know what? I think the main thing to consider here is the fact that if he didn't care so much about you, he wouldn't have been furious. Mm -hmm. You didn't see his face, Dan. Well, you have to admit he had to be a shock. Finding out the girl he just fell in love with is the same woman he had fallen for 10 years ago. You have a great plan, you know, so toughen up and go for it. Just go in there and first talk to him about peaceness and act like you guys never had any misunderstanding. It's easy for you to say because you're not the one putting your heart on the line. Well, it's high time you put your heart on the line, Dara. Whether you want to admit it or not, the fact still remains that you've played safe most of your life. Running away was the safest of it all. You know, running away from anything or anyone who would want to help or hurt you. I'm so proud you came back, Dara. I'm so proud. I know it has cost you a lot, but you can't give up now. You can't give up on everything. You, you owe this to yourself, to Jay, and to your daughter. I know. You're right. Still see a chase job. But I wonder if you see it that way. Come on, Dara, give yourself a break. Forgive yourself, you're worth it. And you're lovable. Listen, just trust me. I think the trick here is just believing it. It's not gonna work between you two until you do. Okay? How did you know? It's, it's Saturday, so I know your usual spot at the stream. I don't forget that easily. So, what are you doing here? Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing here. I guess you're here for an explanation for what's happened. Well, that, that might be nice. So tell me, why are you here? I realize I've been a fool. <laughs> Feel like you're a fool, just like my parents. Ten, still, ten years gone by. Just puff, and you're here because you thought you could magically make amends. Not like that, thing. Oh, maybe uh, you felt life on the run isn't fun anymore. So let's go back to Jay. He's a soft-hearted person. He'll take. He'll jump at the chance of reunite. Not like that either. So. Or maybe you just felt, oh, my daughter, it's all grown up right now. And all the workload has been, it's over. She can be easier to handle. No, Jay, no. Tell me, Dennis. No, Jay. Tell me. Tell me about your epiphany. Tell me so I can care. Jay, I was in a car accident. Oh, yes. You said that. You're about to start there. Yeah. I was in a car accident, Jay. It took me a while to recover. A while? A year. Listen. I never made a conscious decision to hide or run away from you. It's, it was somewhere between the hospital and the healing. I realized I've been given a second chance at life again. Oh, really? After being through a, a windscreen and a 200 foot cliff. That's what I meant when I said I should have died, but didn't. Why did you come back? Because I've always wanted to. It was after the accident I found the courage. <sighs> From the there. Very beautiful, but that is not the main issue right now. Jay, the shield of anonymity gave me the strength to 
I know it sounds silly to someone like you who's never doubted himself. That's not true. Jay, tell me, when have you ever been uncertain about anything? Too many damn times. No one. Oh, I was uncertain. Ten years ago when I was about to give you life to protect you from, from anything wrong. Jay! Listen to me. I was uncertain. I wanted to give you the best life has ever offered. You want to know what? You want to know more? I was uncertain as hell when I was falling in love with Cindy. And how is that to honesty? Back to the million dollar question. Tell me, why are you here? Because I had to right my wrongs. You have to write your wrongs. Oh. You suddenly just felt you've wronged I and Jenny. And you're looking for a way to come in. You want us to give you a second chance so you can come in and mend our hearts and at some point you, you run off on your, your merry way and start a new life? Huh? The, the, I just wanted to tell you a simple truth. I'm just here to make it up to both of you, that's all. I do not want you to make it up to us. You hear? I did not keep Jenny as a favor to you. I kept her because she is my one flesh and blood. And there were two people responsible when you got pregnant. Wow. And which is I and you. Gosh, Jay, I tried. If you're thinking, I will introduce you to Jenny. And so you can sew in her heart at some point and then throw it off like a piece of garbage. Then you better think again. I understand, Jay. I mean, you have the right or the decision to make whatever you want to. But I meant what I said, Jay. I am back and I'm back for good. Listen, Jay, for the first time in my life, I, I have the right, I, I felt so free to do whatever I wanted to. I jumped from one job to the other, from one adventure to another, all because I wouldn't stop running, because if I did, I would have admitted I was a fool. And Jay, for the answer to your million dollar question, I don't have. But this is what I have. A sincere apology from my heart. I am sorry, Jay. I am sorry. Thanks for your vote of confidence. Thanks. I'll see you on Monday. Today again. It's not my fault today. You didn't wake up when your alarm rang. I <laughs> know, sweetheart. Daddy slept very late last night. Hmm? So, um, about your um, report, you said you finished your report and you left it in your bag and at some point it vanished in my office. Not vanished, stolen. Stolen? Cindy did it. You can do better than that. Cindy stole my report. Honey, but. Cindy is not a thief, and after all, what will she gain by stealing a report? She's so... She's a daddy thief. Ever since she came to town, you've been too busy for me. How could you say that? How can I be busy to my beautiful angel, my darling angel? Daddy can never be busy. To you, never. I failed my test yesterday, and you didn't seem to mind. Honey, I minded. But you tried your best, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you want me to make you feel worse by yelling at you? Don't know. So, Jenny, about your report now. She didn't really steal my report. I only forgot it in that office. You see? You see? I understand how you feel, but Jenny, you see, you see why it's not good for you to start saying something, blaming people for what you actually are not sure, you're not sure of? Hmm? Daddy didn't teach you how to lie, did I? Okay, I'm sorry. She's good, and even if I'm not nice to her. Oh. She's good, and you, 
if she's good, uh, if she's good to you, why, why then do you have a problem with that? What's the problem? It's mommy. When she comes back and finds you with someone else, she won't be happy. Don't worry, darling. That's my cross and I'll carry it, huh? When it comes to that. Okay. What's up, what's now? You there? So you well alone now. Go to school. And you know what, darling? When you return, huh? Daddy and daughter are going to sit down together as big people and talk. Hmm? I'm going to tell you something. You take care. Love you. Love you, darling. I've always known you are the one from the first day I met you. I'm sorry. Sorry? Sorry for what? Can sorry bring back all what you've put me through? Jane, stop it. She's wicked. I hate you. I hate you. Get out of our life. We are fine without you. I wish you were dead. Where, where are you going to? Baby? She can't be my mother. Honey, don't say that. Mm -mm, please. Don't say that. Um, when Dara was young, a lot of horrible things happened to her. Like what? Um, like um, being accused of what she didn't do. And um, she, uh, pressure from her mother and her sister. She lost her dad at that point and unlike you that is lucky to have me to take care of you and then when she was about to have you at that tender age um, she couldn't stand the pressure from the two most important pe people of her in her life uh, which is um, her mother and her sister so she decided to stay away from almost everybody to just you know be free and when she did that um, I believe the very best part of her still stayed back what part? Oh, darling, um, her heart and her soul stayed back. You know, sometimes um, people make uh, some wrong decisions sometimes, especially when they find themselves in um, some situations, tough situations like that. Instead of them to stay back and solve it, uh, solve it they just tend to run away. So are you saying I should forgive her just like that? Oh, no, no, no. Say that, darling. Then? All I'm just saying is to her is human. Is we must learn to forgive one another like I've always taught you, you know? Um, like, um, do you remember the story in the Bible where, where Jesus Christ said, um, he who is without a sin should cast the first stone? Remember that? See, that's what is expected of us to do about him. Hmm? So I know Dara really hurt you so deep. And she hurt daddy too at the same time, but we must forgive her at some point. We must really do that. And remember your prayers every day. You pray to God to bring mommy, mommy, mommy back. And finally, he has answered your prayers. Do you want to take it back? What, dad? No, don't bother me, darling. No, don't do that. Well, I guess if you ask my opinion, I would say you give uh, Dara a second chance so she can prove who she really is. But I will not influence your decisions. Whatever you take, I'm, I'm going to be fine. Gave me life and brought me into this world. You are my mother. I can't change that. And like you said, God has, has given us a chance with friends, not with families. Yes, 
my daughter. You can. You are the love of my dreams. 